In this video, we'll look at using Secure Arrays or Sanitize on a SATA solid state drive or M2 Sanitize on an M2 solid state drive using Parted Magic. We'll also look at using the Physical Security ID or PSID revert. And for this, we need to actually have a picture of the labels of the solid state drives that we're going to work on. So for this, you'll need to open up your system and take a picture of your solid state drives. So as I mentioned, we're going to use Parted Magic and I've got an affiliate link to Parted Magic on my written version of this guide. So Parted Magic isn't freeware because it costs to develop code that can pass through Secure Boot and can support the hardware necessary to perform a secure erase or sanitize or PSID revert. So make sure you've got the 2019-09-03 version or newer in the affiliate link. If you get an older version, let me know. Don't purchase it because this newer version has a lot of improvements, particularly when it comes to drives that were encrypted with BitLocker and it has the PSID revert now incorporated into arrays. So once you've downloaded the ISO and you've downloaded Rufus, you'll use Rufus to make a bootable USB. Okay, so go ahead and load the ISO and then check that you've got your USB flash drive. So I recommend a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive or newer. If you've got a computer newer than 2012, select the GPT partition scheme. If not, leave it as MBR and press this button to check the ISO checksums. So you can copy and paste, and then if we press Ctrl and F and paste, we should see the ISO checksum matches. Once that's done, select Start, select ISO mode, and then select OK at the warnings to format your USB flash drive. And Rufus will go ahead and create your USB flash drive. So since there's been a couple of comments on Rufus, you don't have the ISO on your USB flash drive, you have the ISO in your downloads folder and then Rufus loads the ISO and wipes your USB flash drive. So anything on your USB flash drive will be wiped. So this is the computer that we're going to use Parted Magic with and it's got these two solid state drives which you've seen in the picture before and both of them have BitLocker enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down this computer and I'm going to boot using the Parted Magic bootable USB. Okay, so the computer is powered off, the USB is plugged in I press the power button and because it's a Dell I'm pressing F12 to get to the boot menu and I'm selecting the USB flash drive and then I'm just going to press enter to run the default settings from 64-bit parted magic. So it'll go ahead and load and then we can select the time zone optional and then select OK. So what we're going to look at is this erase disk module. Now. You can use secure arrays on older solid state drives or mechanical hard drives. Now, sometimes when you try and use secure arrays, you'll not be able to. You'll need to put the computer to sleep in order to check the checkbox. For this specific solid state drive, it's newer, so it supports sanitize. So we'll go ahead and use sanitize instead. So select the SSD and then select verify and then select continue. And then allow the utility to perform the sanitize and then select start. So the same procedure using the UI to perform a secure erase. So the sanitize is essentially a more thorough version of the secure arrays. So earlier solid state drives 
were not designed to have their data wiped. And a workaround was used, which basically used a voltage spike to remove the mapping table of the solid state drive. So this meant all the data was left remaining on the solid state drive, but it was scrambled because one did not have the mapping table to um, see it. Newer solid state drives will use sanitize, which will remove the mapping table and also wipe on the data, which makes it more fertile. So sometimes it's worth just opening secure arrays and looking at all the drives. So the bootable USB will be unsupported for obvious reasons. And your solid state drive may also be unsupported if it's had BitLocker enabled. So in my case, the solid state drive shows up okay, but older ones may not. So what you can do is use this PSID revert. And here you can type in the PSID. And then once that's done, you can check if your SSD shows up in secure arrays or if it shows up in sanitize. Okay, so I also have an M2 SSD so M2 sanitize should show up in SSD. Um, in my case, I get this warning message to check the BIOS setup to make sure that it's not set to RAID. It needs to be set to AHCI. So I'm going to power up the Dell and press F2 to get the BIOS set up. Go to system configuration and check SATA operation. So SATA operation should be AHCI. And this is the correct SATA operation for a 250 gigabyte solid state drive. If you've got a 120 gigabyte solid state drive or less, then you'll likely use RAID because you'll use it as a solid state cache drive. And this is basically where you use a hard drive as your, your boot drive and a solid state drive as a cache drive to speed it up. So it's mainly older systems that have this. Your systems basically just use a solid state boot drive. Okay, so we've booted back into Parted Magic and we can go into M2 Secure Arrays. Now the SSD shows up. So let's select it, let's select Verify, and let's go ahead and start the arrays. Okay, so that's it erased. And I could also perform a PSID unlock on this SSD as well. So once again, I'm just going to type in the code from the label. And then select unlock. Okay, so we can quit now. And once we've done the PSID unlock, then we can use the, the sanitize. So let's just quit Parted Magic and remove the bootable USB and power up the Dell. So we should get no boot devices because all the internal drives have been securely wiped. In order to use the computer, we'll need to reinstall Windows using a bootable USB. And I've got other tutorial videos for that.